let's talk about the caching, what it is and how and when to use it. Some of the most popular WordPress plugins are the caching ones. Divi Team has the caching options integrated too. Even your hosting company may have a caching enabled on their end. So it must be something good, right? Short answer, yes. Long answer, yes. But you need to know how exactly it works. Caching is a temporary storing of a website content. When you visit a website, you are loading bunch of the content, images, style sheets, scripts and more, so that you don't have to load it every time you visit that very website. All that data is being stored in a temporary memory and each next time you open that website, the data is loaded for you automatically. This technique significantly increases website's load speed. However, what if you would like to show your visitors something new? You replace an image on a page, for example, but they are still seeing the old cached version of the page and the old image. Or you're building your website and you're making a lot of changes and you can see none. That would make it impossible for you to work. So best thing to do is to disable the caching temporarily. Don't use it until you have done with building your website. Only after you are finished you can have the caching options enabled back again. Here's how to deactivate the caching on your website. First of course if you have any caching plugins installed and activated, deactivate them. Then let's go to Divi theme options. There are a few options we need to disable here. Scroll down and make sure that these two options are disabled. Minify and combine JavaScript files and minify and combine CSS files. So disable these two options. Also go to Builder tab, select Advanced tab and make sure to disable static CSS file generation. Now save the theme options. And also, if you still suspect that some caching may be enabled on your website, even you have taken these steps, it may be the hosting caching I mentioned already. Some hosting companies have the caching uh, on their end enabled by default and you can contact your hosting support and uh, check this and make sure with them to disable this as well. And now you're safe to build your website without any obstacles and issues and once you've done with building your website you can switch these options back on. That's it for this tutorial, I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching.